Hello everybody, in today's video we will cook street food from around the world. Let's go! Let's start with England. Pulled pork sandwiches became very popular there. In fact, it's sort of like a burger, but the main difference is that instead of a burger, there is soft pork torn into fibers. So let's get started. We need a piece of pork, or rather, some pork shoulder. Using a knife, we divide the piece into two parts. Now pour in some cumin, a mixture of peppers, and salt. And all this into the mortar. And now we grind this all up, and then add paprika for color and mix. You can pour all this on the meat, and rub the spices in with your hands. We transfer the pieces onto a baking sheet, and so that we get that smoky smell, we will cook on the grill. We fill it up with coals, and distribute them on one half of the grill. We throw one in the ignition tablet and set it on fire. That's it, you can put the upper grill on. But the coals are lit. We put our pork on the half of the grill, but there are no coals. Cover this all with a lid, and at a low temperature, about 170 degrees, we keep this on for as long as four hours. After this is all over, it's ready. We take it off of the grill, and with the help of two forks, we divide all this meat into fibers. The most important ingredient of our pulled pork sandwich is ready. Now you need to make a salad that will go with the bottom layer. To do this, we will make some homemade mayonnaise. Using three eggs, we separate the whites from the yolks. Open up some mustard and squeeze a little bit into a bowl. Add some salt and some freshly ground pepper. With the help of a whisk, we whisk all this together. Open up some oil and pour in a thin stream and mix. We're left with a really thick mayonnaise. Now we just need to add some balsamic vinegar and mix. We take some lettuce and cut it into large pieces. Some red cabbage, and we cut it up very finely. Now we pour everything into a bowl. We pour in the mayonnaise and mix. The salad's ready. Now let's prepare the buns. We open them up, cut them in half, and send them onto a hot frying pan until they reach a golden color. Put the salad on the bun, then the torn pulled pork, some barbecue sauce. We open up some cheddar cheese and put a slice on top. Now you just need to cover with the second bun and press. That's it, the pulled pork sandwich is ready. It's clear why tourists from all over the world love it. It's really tasty. And instead of a cutlet, soft pork it disintegrated into fibers. Our next street food creation is called the pesce fries from Talcone. In Italy, it is made best of all. These are deep fried various seafood pieces from octopus and squid to all sorts of crabs and small fish. They are served in a paper bag. So we bought a lot of different seafood. And the first is the huge tiger prawns. These are the biggest shrimps that I've ever seen. We rip the tail off of each of them. Now we take it out. With the help of kitchen scissors, we cut the vein from above and remove it. And we also remove the esophagus. We transfer the clean shrimps to the cutting board and wash them under a stream of water. Now our shrimp is prepared and completely clean. The next one is octopus. As it says on the bag, it's already boiled. So we open it up. We separate each of the tentacles, each separately. And then we cut them into convenient pieces. That's it. The next seafood is very expensive. It's lobster. It's still alive. Therefore, we remove the rubber bands from the claws. And so that his death would not be painful, we throw him in the freezer and just let him fall asleep. In the meantime, we fill the pot with water, put it under boil, and throw the lobster into the boiling water. We cook for literally five minutes and take him out. Using a knife, we cut him in half. Now we take the meat out of the tail. 
we also tear off the claws. And we break off a small piece of the claw. And we beat the rest of it with a knife so that it splits. Now we pull out the meat. Also from the phalanges. From these little legs, it is easiest to get the meat just with a rolling pin. This wouldn't be very good breaded, so we just ate it. And that's how much meat we were left in total. We cut this all into pieces so it'll be convenient to eat. Our next piece of seafood is squid. It's already cut into rings. Everything is ready, so now we just need to make the breading. We crack three eggs into a bowl. Add some pepper. Add some dried garlic and salt. We need all this together. And pour in 100 milliliters of cream. Also a little bit of dried ginger. And mix. Open up some breadcrumbs. And pour them into a bowl. And into a second flour. So we take a piece of octopus, roll it in flour, then in the egg mixture, and then the breadcrumbs. We do this until we run out of all the pieces of octopus. Then we do the same thing with the shrimp. But for the squid, we throw it right into the egg mixture right off the bat. We mix this up and roll it in, turning the flour alone. We do the same with the lobster slices. Now everything is breaded. We take a big thing of oil and we put a saucepan on the stove and fill it up with oil. When it is heated, we lower all of the shrimp in. Fry this for two and a half minutes and you can pull it out. We're gonna fry the octopus in the same way. Then the lobster. And the squid. And also just in flour, we make the tentacles of the octopus namely the thinnest parts of it. Now our pesci fried talcone is ready. Now we just need to serve it the way they do in the streets of Italy. So now we take a sheet of parchment paper and roll it into a cone. With the help of a stapler, we fix everything up and we get this cone shape. We fill this with the seafood. Cut the lemon and lime first into circles, then divide it into four parts. And we spread these pieces with skewers we insert this into the cone, and now everything is ready. We squeeze out the lime and lemon juice. And we try it. It turns out really tasty. The shrimp is very crispy, and the lobster breading is more tender and thinner. I liked it the most, which is logical. After all, it's the most expensive. If you're going to do this at home, then just spread it all out. Pour out some sauce, for example, some tartar sauce, and eat it all even more conveniently. And the last kind of street food for today can be found on the streets of London called cinnamon. These are soft cinnamon buns poured on top with vanilla glaze, and it's unrealistically delicious. Let's cook them up. Let's start with the dough. First, we open up some milk, and we measure out 200 milliliters. Then we add in a tablespoon of sugar and 11 grams of yeast. And we mix it up. In a bowl, we break two eggs, Add two tablespoons of sugar and knead. Now we take some butter and measure out 80 grams. Open it up and throw it into the saucepan. Now melt it up. Pour this all into the eggs and mix again. Also some milk with yeast. Add some flour in small parts and begin to knead until the dough stops sticking to your hands. We put this in a bowl. In another bowl, we collect some very warm water and put a dough with our dough on top. Now we let it rise for about an hour. In the meantime, let's make the filling. We cut off 50 grains of butter and we throw it into the pan to melt. Pour in 20 grams of cinnamon into it. Usually it's just one bag and a cup of sugar. Now you just need to mix this all up well. 
The dough has already risen and has become very soft. We dust the table with flour and roll out our dough. Now we sprinkle the dough layer with a mixture of cinnamon, sugar, and butter, and gently twist it all up. Cut the roll into segments six to seven centimeters wide, and spread these out on a baking sheet. With your hand, press it a little bit on top. And to then cover it all up with a towel, let them ascend a little bit. In the meantime, we break an egg into a bowl and beat it. Now we wash the future cinnamons with this mixture. Then we take all of this and push it into the oven at 180 degrees for 25 minutes. Now all that's left is the glaze. We take a Philadelphia type curd cheese. We collect a tablespoon and set it into a bowl. Also 50 grams of butter and 100 grams of powdered sugar. Beat this all well with a mixer. Now you just need to add some vanilla extract. Mix this all up again and the glaze is ready. We take the buns out of the oven for now. We transfer a couple of pieces to a plate and glaze them. On top of the hot Cinnabons, it melts and flows in between the layers. And this is what's left. Let's cut into it. For those who have never tried a Cinnabon, let me explain. For me, this is the most delicious bun in the world. And these are categorically different from the rolls that are served in school cafeterias. Although at first glance, without trying it, it seems that it's the same thing. So this is a new style of videos on the channel, you guys. Whether it stays on the channel or not is up to you. If we get 250,000 likes on this video, we will make a new video in which we will also recreate street food.